Hi everybody, my name is Baron Collins Hill and I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes tour of my home studio. I use this setup to make lessons for my website and YouTube channel Mando Lessons where I teach weekly mandolin lessons and do weekly live streams and I've created over the years a little video audio lighting setup that I'm really proud of and thought I would show you where it's at at this point and a little bit of where I'm coming from. Let's jump right into it and see what I'm working with. If you're interested in any of the equipment I'm talking about today, there will be links in the description so you can check it out yourself. So here's where I started out about 10 years ago using the internal webcam and microphone on my computer. Nowadays you can get even better results than this just by using the microphone and video capabilities of your smartphone. But this is what I was working with when I started. For a little while I was also using a mini DV tape video camera and would import that onto my computer and then upload it to YouTube. With a little attention to lighting, you can make things pop out in the scene a little bit more, but your audio is still gonna suffer. And here I've tipped the camera up a little bit so you can see that I have a dedicated microphone sitting above my head. Distance is the most important thing. I've got this about a hand's width from my nose. Still have that light on, so I'm popping off the background just a little bit more. And I think things are sounding and looking a little bit better without investing in a camera. So here we are in 2018. I now have two dedicated video cameras, two dedicated microphones, and a dedicated video light that I really think make the quality of my lessons and live streams much better. Let's jump into what I'm using these days. All right, now I've jumped over to my cell phone camera so I can give you a little look of what I'm working with here. Let's start off with the cameras coming in here. I've got this one mounted to my wall. This is a Panasonic GH5 with the Sigma 18-35 to 1.8 uh, Nikon mount lens with a Viltrox speed booster, just the manual focus version, not the autofocus version. Again, all of the links will be in the description. That gives me the nice wide shot that you were looking at a second ago. And for my lessons and live streams, I also have this camera down here, which is also a GH5. This one has the 25 millimeter Panasonic 1.4 aperture lens that gives me a nice close-up shot on my mandolin. Moving on to audio, we have this uh, Panasonic XLR adapter, which allows me to plug in both of the mics that I use. They're both the same mic. Out extended on this boom arm is uh, the Deity S-Mic 2, a great shotgun mic. I've got it, again, about a hand's width from my nose, pointed towards my mouth, and up off the screen so it doesn't come into the camera. That's connected right up here to one of these big Manfrotto um, clamps, super clamp I believe it's called. And I also, just as a quick aside, I've got a Pedco Ultra Clamp clipping my GH5 also to the tripod. Down here we've got a, another little clamp and magic arm that come out to this microphone, which is the mandolin microphone or whatever instrument I happen to be playing at the time. And again, all of these are off screen for both camera angles. As I mentioned, I have all of this stuff attached just to one camera, or sorry, just to one tripod. The Manfrotto, it's an old Manfrotto tripod, I'm not even sure what it is. It's big and heavy and it's very uh, stable, mostly because I wanted to put this giant light. Now this is the Falconize 68 watt LED edge lit light that I use. It's bicolor, so it goes from 3000 Kelvin to I believe 5500, and so I can really adjust the color. The uh, ambient lights and lighting in the room is very warm, so I keep it down at 3000 Kelvin, and uh, it's only at about 35% power when I'm uh, recording, and right now it's just down at 10, so I 10%, so I don't blow out my cell phone camera. And so everything, as you can see, is attached to this tripod and what that allows me to do is I can fold up this tripod and tuck it back in that corner when it's not in use. That light actually is the only thing that doesn't live on that tripod the whole time and that actually fits in this case which fits right behind my desk. Coming back over here what I can show you is down here I have a little cold shoe mount that actually takes the XLR adapter. I also use this GH5 for photography and other 
more run and gun style videos. So when I'm not using it, where I want to pack it up, the XLR adapter goes on that cold shoe mount and it can tuck away and I can have full use of this GH5. Both of my cameras are connected to AC power using dummy batteries. Again, I'll have the links in the description for those. And for live streaming and general video monitoring, each one of my cameras is connected to a Elgato Cam Link, which can do 1080, 60 into my computer. Um, but I actually only use 30 frames per second uh, because that's the look I'm going for. This one you can see is going into a USB hub. And in live streaming situations, I usually have my ethernet cable, which comes out from behind the couch, plugged in there so I can get a nice solid connection when I'm live streaming. Because this is also my living room, I can take this GH5, which is on this clamp that's attached to the wall, I can take this picture away and fold it up against the wall and then hide the camera behind the frame so nobody needs to know this is a recording studio. All in all, it takes about five minutes for me to set up or break down this little studio. So I'm really happy that I can, you know, in a moment's notice, take it from not a studio at all and just a normal living space to a pretty high quality, in my opinion, recording and live streaming station. Uh, in terms of live streaming, I am using my old MacBook Pro, which is starting to fall out on me a little bit, but still holding on for dear life best it can. I run it through OBS to get up to YouTube so I can live stream. When it comes to actually making videos, lessons, and live streams for my Mando Lessons channel, I have a hotkey set up in OBS, and I can hit the letter Z to switch to this close-up mandolin view. And then Z again, and I am back to the wide view. And this really helps me whether I'm just monitoring my video feed for making lessons where I use the, the cameras recording to SD cards, or if I am doing a live stream, all it takes is one press of a key and I can switch between close up and wide view shots. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. I've got lots more ideas for videos to come out in the future on how I use this studio, uh, the gear that I use, and the ways that I like to make music. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.